Hey, how you doing, team? Rob Lytle. I just got back from my little daily routine of uh, walking through the neighborhood, kind of waving at uh, neighbors from a distance. And uh, some thoughts crossed my mind, so I wanted to share it with you. And I'm out here on my front porch. You're probably like, why you got your podcast stuff set out, set up out here um, on your front porch uh, when you could just FaceTime this? Well, it's kind of windy out here. For, that's one reason, and, and the, the uh, quality of sound is better, especially when you upload stuff on YouTube uh, if you use a speaking device and uh, the headphones. So as I was walking, I was just thinking about our current situation and our choices that we make and and that's what it really comes down to is uh deciding um and i'm not here to motivate you uh i don't think you can motivate through a crisis uh, i really think you got to lead through it and uh, it's about decisions it's about our personal decisions that we make on a daily basis uh during this time and that's what i want to speak to you a little bit about it's when uh you know, everybody has a pregame plan. You wake up every day, uh, you're ready to rock and roll, and then something happens um, every now and then, uh, and, it, and life slaps you upside the head. All good coaches, every coach has a pregame plan. They know what they're going to do when they go into the game. It's around the halftime or maybe through the first quarter or maybe in the third quarter uh, of a game where um, the coach – the the, team, the other team's coming with some unexpected stuff. And the, the, the plan that was previously established is not working anymore. The good coach has the, 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 the halftime plan. He's, he, can, he, can, he or she can call audibles on the play, and they still make things happen. They still make progress. So that's what I want to talk to you about uh, today. Um, it's our decisions not our conditions that determine our quality of life. Let me say that again. It's our decisions, not our conditions, that determine our quality of life. And as I got back from the walk, I wrote a couple things down here, so I refer to my notes. Um, I do believe that uh, you should also have a thought book. You jot down things as they come to you, and you share them with others. We continue to invest and add value to each other. So in this time of difficulty, it's important to, as we grow, uh, we focus on acute awareness of what decisions are we making on a day-to-day basis. What do I mean by that? Well, the decision is to stay home. What else are we supposed to do? Well, there's decisions that you can make within those confines to continue to make yourself better, to continue to grow, and to continue to add value, not only to yourself, but through your family. If you're stuck at home with your kids and your wife, you still owe it to them to lead them through these times. If you're a stay-at-home mom, and you're and God bless you um, for, for everything you do, um, or a single parent, for that matter, uh, and, and you're at home with your kids, you still owe it to them to lead them through this crisis and not sit around and go internal and have your own personal victim mentality uh, and oh, woe is me, because we got to step up to the plate. So this message is for somebody, and if it's not for you, you can click it off. So I, I wrote down a few notes here. Um, decisions that we make on a day-to-day basis determine our quality of life, not our conditions. So you can't control the conditions most of the time. I can't control what the weather's going to be like. I can't control what the stock market's going to be. I can't control uh, if another team's going to win or lose a game. But the decisions are always within our control. So I'll say it again. The conditions, the environment, hardly ever within your, the confines of your control. The decisions you make are always within your control. Now, they, the decisions may be limited, there's always a choice to make. And you can decide how to act. And that's how you get these people. Uh, you, you take two people with the exact same conditions, the exact thing, same things going on in both of their lives, and one person is positive, they're productive, they're continuing to grow, and they get through it nine times out of ten better on the other side and then you have somebody else that's pessimistic negative and has a victim mentality 
Same conditions, same environment. We choose. You can choose to be a victim during this thing, or you can choose victory. And victory is as simple as setting one goal and achieving it. Setting another goal and achieving it. You know, my, one of my goals during this time, I'm reading this book right here called uh, uh, Leading Through Sermons. And as I write my sermons, for, for as I prepare to go into the ministry, uh, I write my sermons out. And, and my goal is to make one or two sermons a day. But whatever the Lord puts on my heart and whatever he wants me to speak about. So I'm jotting those down and I'm writing them down and I may never use them. But my goal is to do one a day. And my goal is to read and, and, and continue to self-educate and, and to gain knowledge and, and, and glean insight and continue to better myself. And you can do the exact same thing. So it's the choices that we really make. And we can choose victory. We can, we can, you know, it's almost like people want us to have a victim mentality. They want us to feel sorry for ourselves. You don't have to sit out here feeling sorry for yourself because there's a national crisis going on. Figure out what you need to do to get better and start putting those action steps in place and taking them. We talked about it at the beginning of the year. No setting goals and achieving them. That doesn't stop just because we're stuck at the house or we're stuck in the neighborhood. You have to choose to get better. It's a deliberate act. And you can do it. You just have to really strategically think about it and continue to get it out, uh, get it out in the open. And continue to make things happen for yourself and your family. You owe it to yourself. You owe yourself. You know, if, if you know, we, we hold others accountable. We hold um, products and goods and services accountable all the time. When they have a, a, a money back guarantee uh, and something doesn't live up to what it needs to live up to, then what ends up happening is we send it back. Or we call them on it and we want it for free. But how about your own money back guarantee for yourself? Make choices, make decisions that's going to help you progress through these trying times. And guess what? Before you know it, you'll look up and it'll be over with. But right now, you can't sit around in a rut. You can't sit around feeling sorry for yourself, whether it's physical fitness, whether it's intellectual endeavors, where you're trying to increase your education. Find ways to increase your value. And, and oh, by the way, try to add value to somebody else, because that's what it, really what it's all about. And that's pretty much it uh, for my notes. You know, I'm just asking you to choose the win, basically. Choose the win. And I hope I'll see you at the pinnacle. God bless.